hi guys welcome back to my channel this is the fifth video in my halloween series and this is mrs carnage i am taking inspiration off of a cartoon image that i found online that i fell in love with and i'm doing my own take on it so starting off with my foundation already done my eyes are primed my brows are primed i'm just going to start adding my concealer on and blending it out with a sponge um i only did my concealer under one eye because on the other side is going to be the carnage makeup blending all of that out and then setting it with loose setting powder. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna set it with a pressed powder and then I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. I'm only contouring on the side that has the red contact. That is the side that's gonna have the beauty makeup, um, but I'm also hitting my entire jawbone, not just one side of it. Um, I am going to contour my nose as well and put the powder on the side of my nose to help that set and while it's setting I am going to move into my eye makeup. I'm also putting the pressed powder, sorry, the loose powder underneath my cheekbone contour to make it really pop. Then I'm going to move into my eyebrows, taking a black um, felt tip eyebrow pen. I'm just going to go ahead and create the shape that I like um, and start to really fill it out. And then once I like how it looks, I'm going to go ahead and top it off with some red eyeshadow because I am wearing a red look to complete this carnage look today. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and top it with red eyeshadow and then I'm going to go back in with this eyeliner pen and create more hairs to try to darken it up and then top it off with the red eyeshadow once again. Once I like how it looks, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the bottom with some concealer and then blend all of that out. And then I'm going to set that concealer with a pressed powder. So because I wanted red eyeshadow on this side, I don't have a red base for some reason, so I have pink. So I'm using pink and a little bit of black um, and blending it together to give me a good base for the red um, to sit on top of. If I just put this red eyeshadow on my lid, it will start shearing out because it doesn't have anything really to stick to. Um, so I am going to use this as a base and then pat the red on top. If I would have used a black base, I think it would have came out a little too dark for the look. Um, and I didn't, I didn't want that look. Um, so I'm just patting the red eyeshadow on top. And then I'm going to move it into my crease and then switch my brush up to a blending brush. And just keep it adding more color until I like how it looks. I'm going to switch my brush again. Um, at one point to uh, blend out the edges of the red using a nude eyeshadow and I just go back and forth until I like how it looks. Now that I'm done with the eyeshadow on the top lid, I'm just going to go ahead and brush away all of that powder. And then I'm going to line my eyes with a black eyeliner pencil. I'm going to line my waterline and I'm going to tight line as well. I'm also going to drag this down a little bit on my lower lid. 
and blend it out with a small pencil brush and kind of drag it up because it's going to go kind of into my eyeliner as well. With my liquid liner, I'm just going to go ahead and create a dot where my hood kind of ends at the end so I know not to go past that point so my eyeliner doesn't get messed up and get hidden by my hood. So I'm just going to create the outer extension of my liner from the opening corner of my eye and then I'm going to create the V and then start to move into my lid um, giving me a nice cat eye. With a little bit of black eyeshadow, I'm just going to go in with this very small brush and just pat it on top of the black eyeliner on my lower lid and drag it into my liquid eyeliner. I'm also patting my eyeliner on top as well because it has a sheen to it, which I do not like. It's not completely matte, so I just use the eyeshadow to help with that. Now I'm going to start to create the outline of uh, the carnage side of the face and I'm just using that picture that I found online for reference. It's not exactly the same um, as the picture but I just mapped it out as well as I can on my own face. Um, so I'm just using a brown eyeliner pencil to do all this mapping out and now you see me just drawing the teeth where they're going to be placed. On the beauty side of the face, uh, she does have two tentacle-like um, extensions coming out. So I am going to draw that on that side as well because I like the way it looks. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in the eye portion of Carnage with some white body paint and also fill in the teeth as well. For the rest of Carnage's face, I'm just going to go ahead and paint that with red body paint, filling it all in. And I do switch to a smaller detailing brush so I could get around those white edges without messing it up. And I'm also going to fill in the tentacles on the other side. That's what I'm going to call them, tentacles. <laughs> Now with black body paint, I'm just going to go ahead and detail um, the outlining of the eye, the teeth, around the separation of both sides of the face, and the tentacle extensions on the other side as well.
Now I'm just going to start filling in in between the teeth with some black body paint um, and I'm going to keep on going till I get towards my actual mouth and then I'm going to take a q-tip one side is dry and one side is wet and I'm going back and forth just blending out the black body paint because I want a nice smooth blend into my skin and I add a little more black where it gets a little too um, sheer for me. Um, and then I'm going just going to go back and blend it out again until I get it how I like it. So now I'm just creating detailing within Carnage's red skin. So I'm just creating random shapes all throughout the red part of the face. And I'm also going to do this on the tentacle extensions as well. Um, it doesn't have to be precise. I basically just went freehand uh, anywhere I felt like making shapes. That's what I did. So they ended up looking uh, pretty cool. I like how it came out. Um, but you could definitely do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as this. Moving back to the teeth, I'm just going to go in with some white body paint and I'm just going to sharpen up the teeth that are mainly in the front because I feel like they got a little washed out when I was trying to blend out the black. And now to add some highlighting to Carnage's skin, I'm just going to take a pink body paint um, and start to create little lines in each little tiny uh, section that I made, those little tiny um, designs. So I'm just going to do that all throughout the mask. And then I'm going to do this with white as well. When I first did the white, I didn't do every single little tiny bubble that I created. I just did like certain parts. But then towards the end of the video, I felt like I needed more white detailing. So I do go back in later and uh, put some more white in there. With some yellow body paint, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the teeth slightly and blend it down as well. Using black eyeshadow, I'm just going to start to create um, a shadow on the face. So you have to think about um, light and the shadow effects. So if the light is shining towards the top of your head, the shadows are going to be towards the bottom. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm lining the bottom parts of the detail with the black eyeshadow. Um, and I'm also going to go around the teeth as well to create a shadow where the teeth are coming out of um, where Carnage's gums will be. Moving back into the beauty side of the face, I'm just going to go ahead and take some red lip liner, line my top and bottom lid, and I am also going to fill it in as well. Um, I feel like when you fill in your lips, when you're going to put a lipstick on, it holds the lipstick better. Um, it kind of acts as a primer, um, and your lipstick doesn't um, come off faster than you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and line everything, and I'm going to top it off with a red lipstick. Um, and then after this, I'm going to go ahead and hit my tip of my nose with highlighter and my chin as well. I forgot to put white eyeliner so I'm just doing that now and I did put body paint on my lashes to make everything blend in. Now I'm just going back in and highlighting um, the mask some more um, and then the look is complete. I love how this look comes out. Um, if you guys like it please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed please do hit the notification bell and as always guys thank you for watching. Bye!